Forty-five minutes to get out of testimony if you want to fuck. Uh, I feel like that's really cute. So you know I don't gotta hide it. I love you way more than this. What is up, my lovely, lovely dolls? And I am back again with another video. And today I'll be showing you guys how I basically this photo shoot for my brand. So what I'm technically doing right now is making my brand photo shoot i feel like i'm gonna make this video and i'm gonna do an intro separate i'm just gonna turn the video on and cut it on so y'all can start seeing set up my space right here you can predict the weather but you can't predict love if my heart can speak you know if my mind can speak you know because i would say these words to you Okay, y'all, so this is like behind the scenes right now. And I got my music on. So I haven't been having my camera out for y'all. Let me show y'all this innovative little trick I did. I put a whole freaking brick inside of my setup because I don't got no weights. And I was like, bro, this is not staying. And I need it to flow. And it's floating. Like, what the fuck? This shit is floating. That shit hard, man. So it's the light that goes above my head. I'm Hold on. Oh y'all, this is risky. But like every time I touch it, I just I don't know too much. But y'all, as you can see, it's like a light that comes from up top. It's gonna make everything look real nice, making me look real illuminated. You just turn the light off. So I'm gonna take this this brick setup down because I don't want anything to fall while I'm getting ready. It will not be a good sight. But I really set up my lights. I feel like I really don't need those many lights this time i have a light i have a light uh umbrella light and i have a light box light so i have three lights going on this is my first lighting setup you can change the tripod to make it taller i need to find my extension cord right now i couldn't find it so that's why it's short like this um this one as well needs to be raised and that one is the last light i have which is another soft box light and these are my backdrops that i have to clip onto the back of my backdrop stand so right now i'm going to make the backdrop before i get ready and after i finish making the backdrop i'm going to set my lights aside so when i come back and i am ready i am ready for my first look and we're going to see how we're going to play with lighting and stuff like that so i'm really not a professional guys but i am doing this and i am going to be a professional so i have to start somewhere finish my tiktoks and stuff and then i will get back to you guys but right now i'm about to take this setup down put it to the side and then get ready for uh, do my first pose so what i'm gonna do is just unclip this whole piece as you can see, without the brick, it falls immediately. And for this, I'm gonna just take this part off because it's much easier for me to just connect it back like that than to take down the whole stand. So guys, I found the extension cord. Also got this chair right here from Whoa. This is her director's chair. And she left it over here when she was doing hair, but I'm gonna use it in my photo shoot. Now I'm going to set up the backdrop and then I'm going to show you guys how I steam the backdrop because you have to steam the backdrop so that it doesn't have any wrinkles. This is an influence to y'all. I have freaking camera charging. Camera batteries charging everywhere. I'm going to lift my backdrop up when... I'm going to lift my backdrop up when I finish putting the backdrop on it because if I lift it up now I can't reach it. So this is my backdrop. It's just a simple white backdrop. Nothing too extra. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do it long side. So let me get my camera ready for my TikTok. And I really just, for my TikToks, I really just put my camera on time lapse and then I go from there. First, I just place it on there because 
I need it to be at least on there. 1222. That's my angel number. Get 50% off all. Alright, 1222. Angel numbers. Boom. It's up now. I like a picture, get my dog a bone. She took me in there like a fall to home. She know I'm royal and I ride with crow. Put my feet in my love for you, is just like Johnny. So you know I don't gotta hide it. I love you way more than it's high tech. I change for you, I work a nine. I play with you just like a violin. Trying to shake my pen like Ellen. Okay, y'all, so this is my steamer. It's already water in there from my last shoot to measure your water because it's the same amount really or you can use a cup it don't matter they gave us that so uh what you do is you put your water inside of here and then you just clamp your the top of it and you just lock it make sure it locks to close it to close is this way to open is the other way make sure it is locked because it will spill and then all you have to do is just heat this up, wait a few minutes, and steam will start coming out of it. And that's how you know when it's ready. It's no light indicator to tell it tell you that it's ready. So the steam will just start coming out and you'll know. Okay, boom. It's time to freaking steam your stuff. I am ready for my Okay guys, so I just finished steaming my background. This is how it looks. I didn't really do the bottom that good, but I did some of it. I can edit that out, really. But yeah. So I did my backdrop. It's looking really nice. Now I'm about to tape the bottom to the floor so that it don't do no moving. Because I'm not trying to be doing it. So this is a little hack that I came up with. Basically, I just tape the bottom to the ground. And then that way it does not move at all. And it gives me the illusion of the I'm gonna do painter's tape. You can see it's a clear tape. You really can't see anything, which is really good. And it's just gonna hold my backdrop so that it doesn't move anywhere. Like I'm I'm not going anywhere. Okay guys, so I finished setting up my set up basically and I want to show you guys so this is how it looks my light coming from this angle I have a light coming from that angle this light over here will be hanging on top of me so when I come back from doing my makeup and everything I will show you guys how that looks right now it looks amazing everything looks really good okay y'all so I really decided that I'm too really excited to eat and I don't feel like making a bowl of cereal right now. So I'm going to drink, drink a juice. These apple strawberries that Bay got. I don't know. I never tried it. But I'm going to try it right now so y'all can see. Like this. I haven't drunk one of these since I was little. Alright. Okay. You They're good. They would have been way better if it was cold. I don't know why he has it hot, but because I like strawberry and I like apple juice. So I have two different wigs right now that I can put on. I can put on this flat one, this straight hair wig, or I can do this curly hair. I was planning on doing the curly hair, so I'm going to try the curly hair first. I'm going to make it really big and cute, and I'm going to put this hat on top because I don't have any glue to lay either one of these wigs. So these wigs are on my head for the photo shoot and take me off after that i really just need to fix my makeup first and once i fix my makeup then i can try to finesse these wigs scarf in here that i think i'm gonna secure the wig with what's going on 
I already put in my bag all the supplies that I needed. I just need to add this comb to the bag and these tweezers to the bag. Because other than that, I feel like all the materials are here. Did I put my glue in here? I'm talking about all the materials and the glue for my lashes is not in here. Just pinning up my hair so that it's not in the way. Is wash my face. So I wash my face with this Oxy Acne Medication Acne Cleanser. Maximum strength flavor first. It's just put in some water on my face. Put it on my hands and just apply that to my face. Give my face a nice massage with this stuff. Get back into my skincare routines. Um, and using like black hair removers, but until then, yeah, this is what we got. Washing my face. Okay, y'all, I think I'm done putting my wig on. And uh, y'all know this, this wig not even on my head for real. I just got the um, head scarf on it to see if it do a little something. I tried to lay the edges and everything. So I did everything normally. I just don't have no glue. So, yeah. Um, close those lights down. So we won't have no extra lighting and I'm going to oh my plan was to wear this hat so we're gonna see how that look and I got my first outfit which is the jeans and I wanted to do the jeans with no top but I'm gonna see how that looks first look I really don't have nothing planned I just have some ideas in my head which is pretty good the ideas I had was basically to use this painting um, palette, paint palette. Um, I also got some more stuff right here. I have this dye because I make clothes. So I was like, okay, I could do this. This is paint. So I was like, I can just pour this around me or something. I have these just because they look crafty. Um, and I have some paint brushes as well. So I know I'm going to use the paint brushes for sure, the color pencils for sure, because it's representing art. And this paint palette, because it represents art too. As for my outfit, the shirt wise, I never had grabbed another shirt. So I think I'm going to grab a shirt. Before I even put my outfit on, I did a test trial. Oh, if it can show it. I got a test picture, but it came out so freaking cute. All right, so now I'm gonna put on, I think I'm gonna put my iPad on the camera so I can see my positioning. 
So what I'm gonna do is basically go to camera just so it can like mirror what's going on here. How cute y'all, oh my gosh. All right, so I need to put the outfit on that I'm going to be wearing for this shoot. The first one, I'm gonna try some simple shots to begin because I'm really just starting and I don't know what I'm doing, but yep. Now I need to, oops, stop the time goes first. <clears throat> I need to change into what I'm about to wear. So, um, I need this. I think in the first one, I'm doing this pose that's pretty simple. So I can use this. I wanted to do like, I feel like I wanted to do some paint on here, but before I do the paint on here, I was going to just wear it regular first because Child. I don't know. In my pants, I'm going to be wearing. Okay, so boom, baby, your hair, your girl hair is done. I don't know why I look like it's sliding back a little bit, but it don't even matter because your girl is cute. You feel me? So I got my little outfit for the first, um, the first outfit. So I need to record my outfit for TikTok so they can see what I'm wearing for the first outfit. And then we can get into like, you know, the works. So I think I'm gonna put a few paint brushes in my back pocket. Uh, I feel like that's really cute. First of all, y'all, the perks about this, this wig not being on my head is I can pull it up if it's too far back. And I feel like it's too far back, so pulling your hair up. Y'all, she don't, she does at the back of my head. It's, it's all right. We're going to put the hair in front of her. Just like that. Real cute. All right, so let me do photo video. I'm all over the place right now. Y'all, I'm trying to do so many videos at one time. I'm sorry. Time lapse over there. I'm going to take the pictures with the outfit to see how the outfit looks. So if I need to fix anything with the outfit. And then we're going to check it again. Already on the continuous shooting. I'm about to go get in my position. And boom. Y'all, y'all, this is so freaking fun. Just want to say that. All right, guys, so I wanted to come and make an outro to my photo taking experience. So I really didn't get an outro to the video and I stopped kind of, I didn't stop midway, but I stopped after only doing one pose because I seen that it was a lot of work just getting, I mean, not one pose, but one outfit because just getting that pose together was a lot and getting those shots was a lot. So I'm going to show you guys, um, how the picture came out right here and i hope you guys like share comment and subscribe and do not forget please y'all do not forget to freaking subscribe like y'all can like y'all can comment but 
subscribe to your girl so y'all can keep seeing the information keep seeing the videos keep seeing the vlogs keep seeing everything that y'all want to see from me and all the create and let me know if y'all let me know down below if y'all want some more creative design process videos because i'm really getting into the um the thing of like showing y'all behind the scenes of like what's going on so like i really like this so let me know if y'all want some more of those type of videos but yes this video was so fun thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made it to the end you were real oh cheap you were real doll and you were real <laughs> pink you feel me anyways bye y'all see y'all in the next video